already seeing the impacts of climate change right now and so that's what Project Survival Media is doing is going out and gathering those stories and bringing those voices that are feeling those impacts straight to the negotiating table and straight into the hands of our world leaders and representatives. In South Asia, there has always been a bottom-up approach towards policy making. And this is especially true for farmers who traditionally have been on the bottom rung of the economic ladder. Project Survival Media is meant to change that by being a voice for the people that are on the fringes and in the places that matter, like Pope and India. They need to realize that if we do not solve this crisis, they will have to find fight even harder for health, for security, for food. What's really unique about Project Survival Media is that with the technology that we have, we are able to produce collaborative videos. Um, and we'll be building a collective narrative and showing how, while we're all very different, we all have very different politics and policies and governments, that we are all struggling very similarly. Even though we're in Europe, um, people normally have this image that Europe is a perfect place, we still have a lot of floods and heat waves. If we do not act on time, it will be very hard to survive. And we need world leaders who are stalling process to, uh, with questions of is this politically or economically viable, this, this climate treaty, um, to start thinking is it politically or economically viable to let other countries drown? Project Survival Media would be one of the best avenues to have people at Copenhagen stop and pay attention to problems in my part of the world. I would not be on the sidelines and I would not just be another voice, I would be listened to. It's their business, that's my business, that's everybody's business and that we're going to work together. We're going to pressure our governments, we're going to say it's unacceptable. Survival is not unnegotiable.